Go, seven minutes, seven minutes. 15 seconds sprint, on your own, go, go. Ready, one, two. All right, we're not hanging our head. Get our head in there so we match his level. Let's go. So let's stay into it. Stay on that arm, circle into that elbow, okay? Let the action happen, then look for your shot. All right, let's do it. Couple more minutes, one, two. Because what happens is if you drop your elbow down, boom, that's where I pop your elbow. It, so it's up, there, see that? Yes, then you get Now you can control me, you can go to my wrist and go, yes, yes. That make sense? The biggest thing is to have an underhook and you're just kind of hanging here. Because now you spear, my elbow's gone. Right. Right? Now if I'm here, go ahead, spear. You can't. My elbow's up. As far as Minnesota this Friday, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward. We have great opportunity. We have great opportunity. I didn't even look at their lineup until today. Okay? And I feel really good about it. I feel really good about it after looking at it. Okay? On paper. You know, it's five and five probably, but we have to win some of those swing matches, okay? You know, we, we have to go in this with a refreshed mindset and build off of what we learned from yesterday's duel, okay? And that's wrestling from our position, not, not other people's positions. Uh, one of the other things we talked about, we've talked about this every week this year. We gotta be better next time we step on the mat. It should be easier to be a lot better than we were this past weekend or yesterday. And I challenge every guy, in this room to be better every day this week. I could say that for the first time since I've been head coach, you know, we, we have depth up and down our entire lineup. And it's just uh, refreshing to know as a coach that, you know, whether it's the number one guy in at a weight class or the number two guy in the weight class, we're going to have a solid guy that we put on the mat each and every time. And, you know, that just comes from the development, you know, the commitment that the guys have given to us, at, you know, what we're asking as coaches. Where we are right now, these guys, and I, I give credit to them, is that you know they, they've bought into the process, and you know they, they've committed as a family, and they call themselves a family, and they, they truly are. It's the closest uh, team I've ever been part of, and it's uh, it's really cool to see. But in order for us to go to the next level as a program, you know we need each of them to hold each other accountable. And that's what family does. And I think we're, we're in a good place as a program, but in order to take that next step, the accountability has to come from within. We haven't had a positive dual meet year in 12 years until last year. So, I mean, in a way, I like to think, yeah, my class started that push. Even though we didn't, Roger came in two years before that and started bringing in those recruits. He got a top 15 recruiting classes I think his first or second year of coaching here, and, uh, which was awesome. You can just see the progress that he's making every single year with uh, the guys he's bringing in. It's only getting better and better every single year. When I was a freshman, I think it was a little different than it is now. I think the team is 10 times closer. I think we work harder. I think we're more serious about what we're doing. I think the culture is just, he's molding us in kind of like a culture of excellence. And he always says, Spartan strong, Spartan strong. And that's really what it's all about. All right, hey, warm up drill on your own. Four minutes, but I want you to focus on advantage positions. Underhook, inside tie, two on ones, all right? Positions where you're moving the guy and dictating pace and moving him, okay? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's your warm up drill, but I want you working from those positions. If we focus on the things that we, we have to work on individually, and as a program, then we're taking care of business. Minnesota is a, is a, is a tough team. They've, they've been traditionally a top 10 team in the country, but 
we can't focus on that. We can't focus on the numbers. We have to focus on what we can do to execute, to score points, and uh, put our you know, best foot forward when we compete. Things we worked on this week is position, dictating pace, being where we want to wrestle. All right, that's just championship level wrestling, being fundamental. Shot defense, guy shoots on us, we stuff his head, we stop his shot first before we try going to our, our other positions where we can score, okay? Wrestle within yourself. Okay? Every guy has that responsibility to wrestle with them, within themselves and wrestle for seven minutes, okay? We have to be better than last week. We all know that, and I know we will be. All right, every guy, from 25 all the way through heavyweight has a responsibility to wrestle seven minutes as hard as you possibly can and look to put points on the board. All right, let's bring it in. Here we go, starting on three. One, two, three, start! Right. taking steps each and each and every day to, to be the one of the best teams in the country. I wouldn't say those things if I didn't really believe it. These guys have made me believers and when when I can say that they've made me believers, I know things are going going in the right direction. <laughs> 